plan. And one of the things I'm most proud about is what I've been able to do for the African American community. Uh, the lowest job numbers in the history of our country. This was the, the virus, the, yeah, just before the virus came. Well, I'm just saying, because, you know, this has been here for three weeks, right? So just oh. before, African American community had the lowest unemployment, the best employment numbers. More African American people and communities have been thriving. If you look at our opportunity zones and what we did, Tim Scott, who's fantastic, a fantastic senator, came to me, opportunity zones, more jobs for African Americans than ever before, better health care than they've ever had before, all of these things. Uh, the Surgeon General spoke to it, and he spoke to it, I thought, really brilliantly. I found it very interesting what he said, and I'd love you to come up and answer the second part of a question, because I think you're, you would do it a much better job than I would. Please. You said that African Americans and Latinos should avoid alcohol, drugs, and tobacco. You also said do it for your umbrella, do it for Big Mama mm -hmm. and Pop Pop. There are some people already on, too. And there are some people online that are already offended by that language and the idea that you're saying behaviors might um, be leading to these high death rates. Could you talk about whether or not people could you I guess have a response for people who might be offended by the language that you used? Well, I, I use that language because that's the language I've been meeting with the NAACP, uh, with the National. Medical Association with others. Uh, I actually talked with uh, with Derek Johnson multiple times this week, the head of the NAACP, and we need targeted outreach to the African American community. And I use the language that is used in my family. I have a Puerto Rican brother-in-law. I call my granddaddy granddaddy. I have relatives who call their their uh, their grandparents big mama. So that was not meant to be offensive. That's the language that we use and that I use, and we need to continue to target our outreach to those communities. It is critically important that they understand it's not just about them, and I was very clear about that. It's not just about what you do, but you also are not helpless. We need to do our part at the federal level. We need people to do their parts at the state level, and we need everyone, black, brown, white, whatever color you are, to follow the president's guidelines, the coronavirus guidelines, and do their part. Because when I talked to the NAACP, three weeks ago it's important to note that one of the things they asked me was can you help dispel the myths in this community that uh that people actually can't get coronavirus if they're black that was a myth that was out there that's actually very important for us to squash here and that all americans avoid tobacco alcohol and, and drug use at this absolutely. time absolutely I, it's especially important for people who are at risk and with comorbidities but yes all americans so thank you and i will clarify that all americans need to avoid these substances at all times i put out a smoking cessation report in january i put out a advisory against youth and pregnant women using marijuana and i can just testify that he made no uh, not even a hint of being offensive at all with that comment. I thought that was appropriate. Thanks. And I can tell you, Surgeon General, I just hope nobody steals him and he goes to one of these big companies for a fortune. Don't leave us, right? Don't leave us, Gerald, please. He's doing a great, you are happy and you're doing a great job. And everybody, everybody tells me that too, so we appreciate it.